Hi guys, this is Gerhard. Um, today I'm bringing you the video review of the Prime One Studio uh, Superman Hush um, Fabric Cape Edition. And um, I was kindly asked by Chris, the Batman statue collector, to do this review for him as a guest review. As we all know, Chris is the Batman statue collector so he won't be getting in this Superman statue and um, thank you Chris for inviting me to do this review for you and guys please uh, be considerate <clears throat> I'm not that um, experienced in making videos um, I'm not that exercised as Chris uh, himself is or as George Raw is who's also doing um, great uh, videos, guest reviews for Chris. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Uh, I will try um, the best I can uh, to bring you a good video review and uh, some insights to the statue. So um, we will begin with the base. Um, it's uh, front, I can say, this is a space eater. It takes a lot of space. Um, the base is about, um, the width of the base is about 29 inches, so um, that's quite something. The depth is about 15 and a half or 16 inches, and uh, so uh, a lot of real estate has been taken by this, but uh, to me uh, it's worth every uh, square centimeter that's been taken up or square inch. Um, yeah. Uh, basically, to the base, um, the angels are detachable. I will uh, just show you. Uh, they come off and are held by uh, pretty strong magnets, as well as um, the wings. They also come off and are held by magnets. Uh, so uh, these magnets, oh sorry guys, uh, are uh, pretty pretty strong. So you won't have to fear that anything will come off. As you can see, there is a lot of detail also going on with the paintwork uh, on the base. There are um, like uh, muddy tones to it everywhere and um, uh, uh, on the pillar, which is rotatable. Um, uh, you can see uh, poison ivy's vines coming off, um, as you might know. This statue is based on the Hush uh, comics uh, in the early 2000s, uh, which to me is one of Batman's best comic books. I um, like it very much, so if you have the time and the interest, uh, I can only say uh, please read it. You will um, enjoy it, I believe, absolutely. So, um, there is, um, there are some uh, special um, things with this base. Uh, first of all, um, the pillow where Superman is detached to is rotatable at uh, 360 degrees. Uh, so you can have Superman facing uh, wherever you want him to. Uh, and this is uh, something very nice to be uh, included with this statue. Um, that's also one reason I went for the Fabric Cape Edition. I had the uh, Sculpted Cape Edition on pre-order, um, but uh, I thought uh, that would eat up even more space. Uh, and uh, I think with the Sculpt Cape Edition, uh, the rotation feature is not uh, included. Um, I might be wrong, but I think it's not, it's not, you can't rotate it. Um, also, um, on the back side of this, uh, uh, of the base, there's a Superman logo, uh, which uh, I will show you uh, just in a second. And so you can have uh, the base um, also uh, with the other side facing the viewer. So I just uh, turned around the entire base and um, I can say it's, it's really heavy um, and uh, it has a, a good quality feel to it. Um, and as you can see, 
what I was talking uh, about before. Uh, you can also uh, place uh, the bass like that, so you have uh, the angels on the background and you have the uh, Superman logo uh, with the vines on it uh, on the front. Um, Alright, uh, I will just rotate Superman again, so um, you can see uh, the, the cape from, from the back side, just a second. There you go, and uh, the rotation works very smoothly, so uh, that's a very nice feature of uh, this edition. The cape is uh, um, wired, so you can uh, work yourself, uh, you can work it out uh, as you like it. Um, I know there are specialists among us collectors who will uh, work out the craziest um, Cape flows. I went with this look, and um, the material. Uh, yeah, it's it's silken, and the cape. Um, yeah, it's it's um, it has a quality feel to it. Also, I'm not a fan of uh, the um, fabric capes in general. Uh, I like the sculpted capes a lot more. But as I said earlier. Uh, I went for uh, the. I changed my order to this edition because of the rotation feature, and uh, also because in this case I think the fabric cape uh, just looks better than the uh, sculpted cape. But that's uh, like uh, my personal view. Um, you can see um, on the top of the cape. Um, there we have the Superman logo, which is stitched uh, onto the cape, and um, yeah. All right, guys, I will just uh, um, turn around the base again, so uh, uh, we can uh, have another look also uh, at the front again, and I will show you the statue itself and all its details. Alright, uh, uh, I turned around the base again because that's uh, the way I want to uh, have it displayed and uh, right now we're starting uh, with uh, the boots and as you can see <coughs> there's a lot of detail uh, already going on with the boots a lot of uh, black tones, blackish tones, uh, some parts a little washed blackish tones, uh, so uh, it gives uh, the paintwork a lot of depth. And uh, I think those boots are one of the best boots I've seen on um, sculpted statues. Um, uh, in general, uh, the sculpt and paintwork on this statue, as you will see, is flawless and um, I think uh, Prime One has knocked it out of the park with this statue. Uh, yes, it's massive, but I mean, we're talking Superman and we're talking Hush Superman, so uh, uh, fans uh, will not in any way be disappointed. But let's uh, go back to the statue uh, and the sculpt uh, on the way up. Um, as you can see, um, the texture work um, is uh, done with um, a lot of effort. Uh, there's so much detail going on. Um, as I said, a flawless paintwork. There are highlights, bluish highlights um, uh, on uh, uh, the blue sculpt areas. And uh, you can see the folds there of, of the textures. That's just done so very well. And um, if we go up uh, a little bit more uh, to the hands, <clears throat> um, I don't know if, you, if the camera uh, is picking it up, uh, but uh, you can see the veins um, and uh, uh, the veins on, on, on the hand, and uh, that's done also very, very well. Um, it's uh, the only uh, pair of hands that you get. Uh, it's not detached from the body, um, that's why you can't uh, change, uh, can, can't interchange any uh, parts there. Um, all in all, and this is uh, 
uh, I don't know how Prime One does it, but uh, the whole body, uh, except for uh, the head and the cape, is one piece. So uh, you get just this one immense sculpt uh, of Superman, and the only things that you can detach um, are uh, uh, the, the cape and, and the head. And as we go up here uh, on uh, the pants, uh, you can also see the same uh, black highlights uh, and tones uh, uh, that are applied to the boots. And this again gives uh, the statue a richness and deepness. Um, on the belt, uh, there are some uh, orangey areas. Um, uh, I think I think uh, Carlito Super Lobo, who's done a great review on this, a little shout out here, um, has uh, also pointed at that. Uh, there are orange areas and I don't know if this uh, is a pain flaw. To me it doesn't look like a flaw. Um, it, uh, it gives uh, the uh, yellow belt uh, a deeper look, I would say. So it's not... If it was only um, yellow, it would have been too flat. Uh, anyway, uh, it looks to me uh, very, very good and uh, is, is not at all uh, in the area of being a flaw. flaw. So uh, if we go up, you can see uh, the muscular uh, sculpt and this looks awesome. I think this is uh, one of the best um, uh, muscular sculpts that I've seen on statues. Uh, there's so much detail going on thanks to the amazing paintwork and uh, if you look at uh, his biceps you can even see the uh, uh, large vein that's, um, uh, uh, that's coming out beneath uh, his suit and um, yeah, if we go to the chest area we have this uh, very huge uh, um, Superman emblem uh, and uh, this is the way to do it. It looks amazing, it's, uh, it's huge, it's, uh, it has a presence. I mean the statue all in all has an immense presence but also uh, the Superman logo and it, it really pops. It's, it just looks uh, very very awesome. Uh, coming to the face now, um, there uh, you can see uh, there is so much detail going on. The eyes are done very, very well. And he has a very stern uh, and uh, a very stern look. Um, like he is very composed and, and ready for action. Um, that gives him, uh, to my thinking, a really, really intense uh, look. Um, and uh, again, uh, Prime One has done an amazing job uh, with uh, uh, the sculpt and also with the paint application. Um, there you have uh, the signature hair. Uh, it's done also perfectly. There are uh, some, I'd say, um, uh, bluish or whitish highlights in the hair. So um, uh, the sculpt is even uh, uh, deeper look wise um, I mean it's it's done perfectly the hair um, this is one of the three head sculpts and um, I will uh, just swap out uh, the head now so you can see the other uh, head sculpts uh, there are two uh, more uh, head sculpts and uh, I will show you how the cape uh, uh, locks into uh, the rest of the body. I just uh, swapped uh, heads and um, as you can see this um, face is uh, uh, looking more uh, to from Superman's side to the left side uh, and again <clears throat> the, this uh, head sculpt um, is perfect. They've done an outstanding uh, job with this and um, yeah, it depends where you uh, want to put your sta uh, statue. Maybe the statue, uh, the hat that I had before, uh, is uh, more suitable if you have them on a higher position. Uh, uh, this one looks uh, straightforward, and whereas the other one 
looks a bit uh, down. Um, I will just, uh, as you can see, uh, I, I took off the cape and um, I will just rotate the statue so uh, you can see the back without the cape. And uh, as I mentioned before, rotation works just perfectly. So, um, as you can see, uh, also an outstanding job here. Uh, the muscular sculpt uh, looks awesome. Uh, you can see so much detail going on. I don't know the names of all the muscles, but um, uh, they've done a lot of research how uh, uh, a very uh, worked out um, uh, musculature, uh, musculature looks like. And um, I will turn around Superman again and take uh, off his head. So uh, you can see the two parts where the cape should come in. Um, he uh, all the heads are held by very strong magnets, so uh, there you won't have to fear that anything uh, will fall off. And um, putting the cape in is a bit tricky. Um, uh, so uh, there are these two uh, holes where you uh, have to um, put this in and um, Bef uh, I'm doing this without the hat because you have to put the hat in b uh, before uh, uh, attaching the cape. So um, I just did it this way to uh, make the cape sit uh, very tight to the body. That's how I did it. I uh, did it this way uh, before putting in the hat. So I worked um, the wires around the body so it, it sits there flush uh, on the body. And um, then again, I took it out and uh, put in the hat. So um, right now I'm going to put in the third hat. And this is the heat vision hat. So there you go. And this is also an outstanding hat. Uh, maybe my only little nitpick would be that I wish they had done some more reddish highlights around the eyes um, for this heat vision look but nonetheless this is an absolute minor nitpick uh, and uh, I'm not going for this head anyway uh, but it looks awesome so <clears throat> we have also another part um, to uh, put on the head um, that's the vines of, of ivy <clears throat> in the scene where um, where uh, where Ivy has control of uh, Superman uh, in the comic book, and you just uh, place it around his neck uh, like that. Um, I must say uh, I don't like uh, those um, very much. They have, uh, I must admit, a rather cheap look to them. It's like. Um, uh, a soft plastic and uh, looking at it uh, you can tell that it's uh, uh, it's plastic um, and uh, so I'm, I'm not happy with this but I'm not gonna display it anyway and um, so to me uh, it doesn't make any difference all right guys I will just um, Put it up uh, the way uh, I will have it um, displayed. So uh, just a second there. All right, guys. Uh, at the end of this video, um, I will just I would just want to uh, give a short comparison uh, with um, Superman standing next to the uh, Prime One Arkham uh, Batman. Uh, because uh, there have been some questions uh, on uh, the social media uh, if they would fit together. Um, in my opinion, they absolutely do. Um, they make an awesome couple. Um, I have to say though that they are not perfectly in scale. Um, Superman is uh, uh, a lot bigger. Uh, but uh, if you place him the way uh, I have, 
uh, to have uh, Batman standing up uh, a bit higher than Superman, uh, this works. Uh, and um, to me, this gives uh, an amazing uh, look. Uh, and um, I will keep them uh, the way they're standing right now. And uh, yeah, that's Batman and Superman. Uh, I didn't go for the uh, uh, Hush Batman. I did consider it, but I was not uh, that much of a friend of the pose they give him. So maybe Prime One will do another Hush Batman uh, down the line uh, where he's standing up uh, and that might be the point to jump on it. But anyway, um, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, my uh, little video, my review of uh, the Superman uh, Hush uh, Fabric Cape Edition by Prime One. And uh, my all in all verdict, this is to me uh, one of the best statues uh, that I've seen and owned so far. And uh, for every Superman fan, I would say this is a must have. Um, and uh, also for people who are collecting statues around uh, Batman um, and Superman, this is maybe also uh, a nice, very nice piece to own. Uh, so yeah, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching and I'm out.